It towers over the British coastline like a machine from another world. A crane so massive, it needs its own railway system just to move. They call it Big Carl, one of the most powerful lifting machines ever engineered. But this isn't just a story about size or strength. It's about how one machine is reshaping the future of construction, redefining what's possible when ambition meets engineering. From the front lines of the world's most extreme builds, this is the story of Big Carl. And this is Hard Hat Industries. Big Carl, officially known as the SGC250, is a heavy lift ring crane designed and assembled by the Belgian engineering company Sarens, integrating specialized components from global suppliers. It was engineered to tackle the biggest, heaviest, and most complex construction projects on the planet. In its tallest configuration, it can reach up to 250 meters, taller than the London Eye, and nearly matching the Eiffel Tower. Its maximum lifting capacity? An astonishing 5,000 metric tons under optimal conditions, equivalent to about 1,250 adult elephants, or roughly 32 fully loaded 737 jets. Unlike most cranes, Big Carl moves. It travels on a custom-built rail system spanning its worksite allowing it to reposition its massive frame while fully rigged. Think of it as a towering giant that can shift with precision. This mobility is crucial because Big Carl lifts enormous prefabricated components, sometimes weighing thousands of tons, and needs to be in exactly the right place every time. The crane's nickname, Big Carl, adds a personal touch possibly inspired by Saren's legacy, though its exact origin remains a bit of a mystery. What truly sets it apart isn't just its raw power, but its precision. Despite its size, it can place components with accuracy measured within millimeters. Thanks to a sophisticated system of sensors, computers, and mechanical innovations that push crane technology to new heights. Big Carl wasn't built to sit idle. It's deployed at Hinkley Point C, the UK's first new nuclear power station in a generation. Located on the Somerset coast, this mega project is designed to power over 6 million homes with low carbon electricity. It's one of the most complex construction efforts in the world, and Big Carl is at the heart of it. Why? Because Hinkley Point C uses a modular approach. Instead of assembling everything piece by piece on site, huge prefabricated components like steel reactor shells, cooling systems, and turbine hall structures are manufactured off site and transported in, some weighing up to 1,600 tons. Big Carl's job is to lift, position, and install these massive modules with surgical precision, even in conditions where a slight breeze can pause operations. At these scales, the margin for error is razor thin. Big Carl has tackled increasingly ambitious lifts. In December 2020, it performed one of its heaviest to date, a 575-ton load including a 382-ton steel ring for the reactor's reinforced cylinder, lifted at a 160-meter radius during the night to avoid high winds. The project timeline stretches over a decade, with Big Carl performing hundreds of critical lifts, each one a linchpin in the construction sequence where delays could ripple across the entire schedule. Big Carl represents more than brute force, it's a symbol of a broader shift in how we approach mega projects. In the past, mega construction sites were chaotic, materials scattered, dozens of cranes competing for space, and months spent on assembly. But with modular construction, the game has changed. Components are precision built in factories, delivered to the site, and installed in days, not months. This approach means faster timelines, higher quality control, and improved safety. Cranes like Big Carl make it possible, 
lifting components that redefine what heavy means. The economic advantages are clear. Modular techniques can reduce cost by up to 20 to 25 percent on certain infrastructure projects, depending on scope and condition, by minimizing on-site labor and construction time. The controlled factory environment also ensures fewer defects and higher build quality. Environmental benefits are significant too. Less on-site work means reduced noise, dust, and traffic congestion. At Hinkley Point C, this modular approach lowers the project's environmental impacts compared to traditional methods, supporting the push for cleaner construction. So how does Big Carl do it? At its core, it's a ring crane. Its main body rotates on a massive circular track that distributes weight evenly, allowing 360-degree movement and unmatched stability. The jib, the crane's long arm, can extend over 100 meters. Counterweights totaling more than 5,200 tons balance the system during lifts. Every motion is calculated, monitored in real time by computers and human engineers with fail-safes layered on top of fail-safes. When Big Carl moves, it's deliberate, not because it's unsure, but because the stakes are so high. A mistake here could cost billions. The engineering team spent over three years designing and testing the crane before deployment. Digital twins and simulations optimized performance, catching issues early. The rail system is a feat in itself. Tracks must be perfectly level with tolerances of just millimeters. Laid on the ground, prepared to support the crane's total weight, which can exceed 10,000 tons with counterweights. Big Carl moves along these rails at a careful pace, prioritizing stability and safety. Big Carl may be stationed in the UK for now, but its influence is global. The techniques it enables, modular builds, high precision mega lifting, and rail mounted crane systems are inspiring projects worldwide. From high speed rail in Asia to offshore wind farms in the North Sea, engineers are rethinking what's possible when a crane can lift more than most ships weigh. Sarens is already refining this technology, developing new variants and preparing for a future where cranes like Big Carl set the standard. As we face bigger challenges from clean energy to urban megastructures, the world needs machines that can keep up. Globally rapid infrastructure development is a priority Countries investing in heavy lift technologies are drawing inspiration from capabilities like Big Carl's, especially in nuclear and renewable energy projects. The realization that almost no component is too large to move is opening new possibilities in design and engineering. When the world looks back at Hinkley Point C, they'll remember the engineering, the vision, the sheer ambition but at the center of that story will be one machine, a giant that didn't just lift steel and concrete, it lifted the idea of what's possible. Big Carl isn't just building a power plant, it's creating a blueprint for the next generation of construction. Its operations are feeding data into machines learning algorithms, making future cranes smarter and safer. Each lift provides insights into stress patterns, wind effects, and performance. For local communities, Big Carl is a celebrity. Viewpoints let the public marvel at this engineering wonder in action. As climate challenges drive demand for clean energy, the lesson from Big Carl will shape how we build power systems to meet emission goals. Its true legacy isn't just what it's building today but what it's inspiring for tomorrow. A world where we build bigger, better, and bolder than ever before. Big Carl has long stood as a titan among cranes, but a new powerhouse is emerging. The SK-6000, a colossal ring crane from Dutch firm Mammoet built to redefine heavy lifting. With a 6,000 metric ton lifting capacity, Surpassing Big Carl's 5,000 tons, the SK-6000 claims the title of the world's strongest land-based crane. 
it can hoist 3,000 ton components to 220 meters, ideal for mega projects like offshore wind farms. Unlike Big Carl, which often relies on diesel generators or grid power, the SK6000 operates fully electric via battery or grid, slashing emissions and championing sustainable construction. Its containerized design allows global transport in standard shipping containers, enhancing mobility for projects worldwide. Tailored for renewable energy, the SK6000 excels at assembling massive wind turbines or installing floating foundations from a single position. Building on the modular construction Big Carl advanced at Hinkley Point C, Though Big Carl reaches 250 meters to the SK6000's 220, the latter's 144 meter outreach and greater capacity make it versatile for nuclear, oil, gas, and green energy projects. Its efficient design also optimizes site space compared to many traditional cranes. Following assembly and testing at Mammoth's West Troop facility in 2024, the SK6000 is poised for its operational debut in 2025. Industry excitement surrounds its potential to revolutionize modular construction with larger, more efficient lifts. Big Carl's legacy remains strong, but the SK6000 ushers in a bolder, greener era of engineering triumphs. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of mega cranes and game-changing machines, hit that like button and subscribe to Hard Hat Industries for more stories from the front lines of heavy construction. From the cranes that move cities to the machines that build nations, we bring the muscle to your screen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next build.